police cases mm -hmm. where you know you only have one side of the story it's a or even self-defense cases of course yeah. correct it, it's mm -hmm. a mess the whole time we don't get to see we don't get to get testimony from three people because they're dead it's a huge problem we need to only use self-defense only encourage self-help and think about this no due process right Bastia waxed eloquently about the rights that you have inherent to you and how they should be defended and we shouldn't we shouldn't let uh, other people take them arbitrarily. I agree as rules of thumb. Um, and now this totally sanctioned killing by the state in terms of self-defense for not the most uh, needed cases. And you know, you might say, well, in some cases, this property is equivalent to life. And maybe it is in some cases, but we need to make rules that comport to the general trend of how things work. And if in general, most property related thefts aren't life or death, then we need to make our self defense rules comport with that reality. I, uh, yeah, I, um, I, um, well, sorry, Dustin, what do you, what do you think of that? No, fuck that shit. Yeah, I... <laughs> the problem is that like well here so i'm curious i guess then to test this particular thing um in the cases of where it comes to aggression on an individual um if we do decide like and and let's say that we're moving now into bodily harm but we're not but we're deciding not in cases where they're going to be killed but we move into some forms of bodily harm do you think that at that point that person is obligated to endure the bodily harm knowing no. that why not no it, because i think uh the threat of syria well it depends what kind of bodily harm if it's serious bodily harm, then no. If how do we? Trivial, how are we defining serious here? We define it together with, with, with case law, with Andrew. strong lawyers. With Ooh, okay, now I'm going to give you. I'm going to. I'm going to insist that this is still reasonable. Okay, but now I'm going to make this a bit more complicated. What if you don't know if they're going to commit bodily? Uh, how intense the bodily harm is going to be? How do you make that determination? Uncertainty is a factor to take into account when determining the reasonableness of it of the threat. Absolutely. Okay, do you the think that there is something asymmetrical here then about, so let's say there are two people. On one, we've got Joe Rogan or some like MMA, UFC yep. train fighter. And then on the other, we've got like a, a little 70 pound, five foot nothing girl or whatever. I think that's yes. very low weight, sorry. But you have like a very, very small person, okay? Um, does Joe yes, Rogan- Yes, different rules, different rules. Different rules. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's, so in, in almost it's all cases, Joe Rogan loses the right to lethal self-defense because we would place like a, a burden on him if somebody attacks him to where like, okay, well, maybe you can deal how, with an offender. Maybe you can deal with an offender. How do you think we do it now? I mean, it's-, it's Well, about, I'm not appealing well, to the system now as is. We're talking well, like- how uh, that Well, the system now works because it, it relates to- Who does it work for? Well, my, my, my issue here then is ethically is that like, let's say that both people are getting attacked, but now one person is holding a knife. Right, and the, and they neither knows it. The girl is fine every time because she can always act lethally immediately because she might have the might not have the means to otherwise. But you're forcing the more capable person. He has to take his life into his own hands now and potentially risk that and gamble that as a punishment because he's more physically adept. I, that's I don't. I'm, any any given case of something being unfair or unwise, I'll grant to you that you know it's it's unfortunate in this case that in many cases that you can't resort to self help because of some rules of thumb or some bright line rule that we've established. The same is true, by the way, I know this analogy is often used on this and other channels in Twitch, uh, the age of consent. It might be in any given case that that age of consent is, you know, unjustified for the relationship that exists at the time. But nonetheless, we enforce it because on average it works. And that's the choice we, it's the same choice that we give up, you know, certain freedoms of owning nukes in society. It's the same bargain that we have that we have certain rules that when a, a, applied to individuals um, will be unjust, but when applied to society as a, law, uh, as a whole, they are just. Do you, think, uh, do you think the individual resisting the unjust application is, is doing uh, something immoral by resisting it? Um, like if, I, if the police huh. are uh, going to enforce an unjust law on me, they should lose. They, uh, I mean, they, they, they have the right. No, 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 to, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. If I say fuck courts, you have no fucking right to tell me to go to court, buddy. If the cops are going to try and beat me in the face, hey, look, again, I would never do this because this is never a situation where you're going to win. But uh, do I not have the moral right to resist the police? No, you don't. Okay. Not and that's, that's, I guess, the Assuming... fundamental difference here. I am yeah. never going to concede and i don't know who would i don't know why this is necessary concede that i have to sit there and tolerate injustice i am willing to like and well, done I against me i, I am understand. willing to concede i am willing to concede that it is a terrible idea but at the end of the day the police have no moral authority they okay. are just another consequential Basia, uh, thing. Ba them having a badge doesn't give them moral authority 
so I, I I understand. So all of this involves, I think, a premise which is the system is working reasonably well, right? That we're we're not into some horrible yeah, tyranny. I, and so I don't I, really I don't really know why that matters either. No, because I mean, because otherwise, then I could see you know then you'll give me an example of you but, should never resist authority, and then I would, I would I would say something like, well, no, in some cases you resist authority. Yeah, so, but, but like if it doesn't work for me. It is failing for me 100% of the time. So, like, why do I care about the effects for other well, people well, when it comes to go. my moral right to resist? So I mean, you're you just saying, basically, in certain situations, you are really, I guess, just any time, uh, if the law says it, I mean, you just kind of got to, you just got to suck it up. Uh, so, and I don't, you, cop pulls like, Equiment here is saying, like, it's better to sue them after. Yeah, I agree from a practical perspective, but the fact that it's more effective, that doesn't mean that you uh, are, are being immoral by resisting them. So, so here about this, Babasia. Uh, you're pulled over by the police, and you believe um, that you don't need a license to drive. Yeah. You no, know? this is all just an immoral yeah. contract. It's all yes. theft. So, yeah. you know, what right does this cop have to buy full my vehicle and bring me to jail? They don't have a moral it. right to do it. You, you have should no, resist no, it. no, 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 not should. You have the moral right to. That doesn't mean you should. You never should in existing society. It's a terrible what, idea. In every sense, but that doesn't mean you lose the moral right to resist aggression. Wait, here I want to test this. Actually, I'm so curious um, how you feel about this, right? So, if there is a well, let's say we'll go full BLM. There's a black guy and he's being aggressed unfairly on by the cops. They call him a piece of shit. Call him the n-word. Um, they want to beat the shit out of him and throw him in holding for the night for no good reason, right? Um, mm -hmm. In this case, and I believe I've been consistent with this, I would argue, like, take it, deal with it, and deal with it in court, because that's how you maximize your chance of surviving. 100% yes. you should every time. But morally or ethically, I don't think I'm going to condemn somebody for not submitting themselves to the abuse. Um, what do you mean by that? So what I'm saying is, like, there are things that you can do that might, like, maximize your chances of, like, survival, but I don't yeah. know if I would say you're ethically compelled to take the choice that maximizes your survival. And then I'm going to, like, condemn you and say you committed a moral wrong by fighting against, like, what you perceive to be as an injustice, even if it means you might introduce more harm to yourself or the officers that are being... Well, murdered. ethics is defined by the, the, the cost of society as a whole, correct? Wait, so, let me say that one more time. So ethics is defined, in, in my view, by net good for most amount of people, correct? 